subscriber today asked about tech tips for these very annoying little washers that Echo likes to use on some of their pistons. This is a uh, CS490 crank. It's the same one used in a 4910, I believe. And it was dusted pretty bad. The rod still feels kind of tight, but the bearings have lost all their sheen, so I have no faith in the bottom end. But I'll show you kind of the tech tip that didn't work at all. For installing these washers. On my bearings, when I'm doing assembly, I always put a couple drops of oil in the bearing. That way, if it's not being lubricated properly, on startup or you know just whatever weird situation it's got something that's going to prolong the life of it and you know 30 seconds of lubrication may be the difference between having something that runs forever and something that doesn't run very long at all but bearing goes in i come hit the sides of the rod with some grease and you just want something that's tacky put a film of grease on here if it's if you go nuts with the grease I think it can cause issues as far as lubrication accessing that bearing and you don't want that to happen Take your washers, stick them on the side. You can see how the grease is holding it. And they can shift around a little bit, so you gotta be careful. Now here is the big tip. Take the flat part of a soda bottle or a water bottle. The smart water bottles have a nice smooth face. So every now and then I'll go buy one just so I have the plastic for it. Cut a strip of plastic roughly as wide as your wrist pin, uh, as wide as your wrist pin is long. And it may take a little bit of doing to get it right, but you want to roll this up as tightly as you can. And I might have cut it too long. It's plastic. It's cheap. You can trim it. Yada, yada, yada. It's not the end of the world if you mess it up the first time. Like This is too big. So I can either try and re-roll it tighter. And I'm hard-headed, so I'm trying that. Then you can realize your attempts are futile like me what I'm doing now trim it short so your rolled up plastic is roughly the size of your wrist pin 
You want it to be a little smaller. Take your piston. Get your plastic started. Or, no. I'm, I'm, I apologize. It's getting late, so I'm doing things out of order. Keep this rolled up tight. Get your piston lined up. See? I didn't have enough grease. Two more dabs. And it's there. Roll up the plastic. Piston. All right. There's my plastic. Since it's rolled up tight, since you roll it up, it expands once you get it in there. Now you can still kind of mush it around, but it holds these washers in place while you fight the wrist pin in there. Echo pin fitment is typically very tight. I want to say like the 590s and 620s are the tightest but it's you're centered enough that you can kind of work it in there ta-da there is your echo tech tip on how to fight them washers in there Piece of plastic bottle, that's the secret tool.